What is an RCD? In all walks of life, electrical safety is of paramount importance. Indeed, at EIS we are obsessive about electrical safety as we work and after we complete a project. With regards to electrical safety, one crucial device that ensures electrical safety is the residual current device, RCD. An RCD, is designed to protect individuals, employees, tradespeople, in fact, anyone from electric shock. In addition, they are a large part of preventing electrical fires. In this EIS video, we will explore the functions and benefits of an RCD. Furthermore, why they can be an essential component in many electrical installations. What does an RCD do? Firstly, to understand the significance of an RCD, we need to first grasp its fundamental purpose. The function of an RCD breaker is to continuously monitor the flow of electrical current on that circuit. The design and manufacturer of that specific unit are designed to detect even the smallest leakage of current that could occur. This could be due to faults, damage, water or accidental contact with live wires. When an RCD detects leakage of current, it rapidly cuts off the power supply, preventing potential harm to individuals and mitigating the risk of electrical fires. What are the main functions of an RCD? They protect against electrical shock. One of the primary functions of an RCD is to protect against electric shock. Therefore, in the event of a fault, an RCD detects the change in current flow and immediately trips the RCD unit. Thus, cutting off the power supply to the circuit. In essence, there is no flow of electricity from the main fuse board out along that circuit once the RCD trips. This fast response time, typically within milliseconds, can potentially save lives by preventing a dangerous electric shock. They protects against electrical fires. Another critical role of an RCD is to safeguard against electrical fires. Faults in electrical appliances or wiring can lead to overheating which can potentially cause a fire. This is especially prevalent in residential settings. In this scenario, an RCD detects faults by monitoring the balance between the live and neutral currents. If an imbalance is detected, indicating a fault, the RCD quickly interrupts the power supply. Therefore, by not allowing continuous current to a faulty device, the overheating or explosion of a device is avoided. Thus, mitigating the risk of that potential electrical problem. What are the additional benefits of an RCD? Peace of mind. As discussed above, an RCD has many life-saving functions. However, in addition, it provides peace of mind for homeowners and occupants. This is because when we significantly reduce the risk of electric shock and electrical fires, we can be more content in our homes. Furthermore, when renting out a property, knowing your tenants are safe. This increased level of safety can enhance the overall well-being of individuals. Imagine the difference when having a family and you have constant electrical issues. You should always have confidence and trust in your electrical installations. Additional protection. In addition to newly installed individual circuits, an RCD can be easily installed as an additional protective device in existing electrical circuits. It is typically placed in the main distribution board or consumer unit and can protect multiple circuits simultaneously. The installation of an RCD does not require extensive rewiring or significant modifications to the electrical system. In fact, at EIS we come across a lot of fuse board upgrade work, especially in older buildings. Sometimes the upgrade of just the breakers to RCD is a cost-effective solution rather than a total rewire. RCD requirements. Here are specific requirements for the use of RCDs. According to the 18th edition of the wiring regulations. 1. An RCD protection must be provided for socket outlets rated up to 32 amps. This is in locations to induce kitchens, bathrooms, and outdoor areas. 2. You must use RCD protection for all circuits supplying luminaires. 3. For all circuits supplying portable equipment that will be used outdoors, RCD protection must be provided. 4. 
A qualified electrical installer such as EIS must be used to correctly install RCDs and fully test. Types of RCD It is worth noting that there are different types of RCDs available to suit various applications. Fixed RCDs The most common types include fixed RCDs. These are permanently connected to the circuit. In essence, these are installed on your main fuse board and protect the whole circuit at the fuse board. Portable RCDs With a portable RCD, this is a unit which can be plugged into a socket outlet. In addition, power sockets are now commonly pre-installed with an RCD in the faceplate to protect the exact socket at the source. Additionally, there are different sensitivity levels of RCDs. Thus, to cater for different requirements, such as providing additional protection in high-risk areas or for specific equipment. Categories Residual current devices are classified into different categories. These are type AC, type A and type B. They operate in the following way. Type A This type ensures that the breaker trips for Residual AC currents Pulsating DC currents Type AC this type ensures that the breaker trips for Residual AC currents Type B This type ensures that the breaker trips for Residual AC currents Pulsating DC currents Smooth DC currents Summary In conclusion, an RCD is a vital safety device. Firstly, it plays a crucial role in protecting individuals and preventing electrical fires. Secondly, with its ability to detect current leakage and quickly interrupt the power supply. Thus, they significantly reduce the risk of electric shock. Furthermore, it enhances overall electrical safety. Lastly, with its ease of installation, cost-effectiveness, and versatility it is an essential component in electrical installations. In summary, by incorporating RCDs into our electrical systems, we can create a safer environment and provide reliable protection against electrical hazards. For all your electrical, lighting, testing, and associated cabling requirements, for a free survey, contact us on the details above.